Hello again. One may always rely upon the BBC to take much-loved children's classics and then muck them up in the cause of multiculturalism. And their latest production of Enid Blyton's Famous Five does not disappoint. After all, the BBC do have form when it comes to Enid Blyton. Anybody remember their version of the Mallory Tower school stories a couple of years ago? Set in the 1940s girls' boarding school in England, it managed to cram in every visible minority one could ever dream of or hope to see. They've done something rather similar with the famous five. George, the tomboy, is played by a black girl. Of course. The first episode will be shown in five days' time and the young cast may be seen in the thumbnail to this video. I give a link to the BBC website in which we learn more about this awful venture. Anybody remember Anne, the quiet one of the five who was very conventional and clearly a little homemaker in training? Her tim timidity and shyness were a key part of the plot. She was a foil to George's outspoken ways. Let's see what the girl playing Anne thinks of Anne's character as she's been... Uh, taught to play the role as. She says, she's quite sassy. She likes to get her brothers to do things for her. She treats them like her servants. She presumes people are there to serve her. Nothing less like the Anne of the novels could readily be imagined. The whole point was that Anne wanted to serve the others. Anne wanted to be the helpful little housewife type. The BBC tell us that the series is set in the late 1930s, which makes the decision to cast George as the product of a mixed marriage between a white man and a black woman utterly bizarre. In real life at that time, such a marriage would have made outcasts of those involved, and their child would have had a pretty rough time of it too. By showing everybody simply ignoring the ethnicity of George and her mother, the BBC are doing what they are so good at, which is creating a version of the past where everybody holds the same enlightened views as modern people, and then pretending that that's how it really was before the war. This is part of that same process which I mentioned yesterday, whereby children are subtly indoctrinated into the belief that Britain in the past was also multiracial and that everybody had up-to-date and with it views about things like immigration, mixed marriages and so on. It's working, mind, as anybody talking to a school child today will soon find out. They actually believe the BBC version of history, especially since their teachers and history books that they're given back it up.